Hello and welcome to today's video. So on the workbench today we've got an AMC 325 motor controller and this is serial number 1270. And if you recall this is the actual one that was for sale. It's been purchased and the customer wants it reprogrammed for a different voltage range because he's got lithium ion. And so I've taken the cover off and we're going to install the uh, RS422 to RS232 adapter to program it. Um, if you don't have one of these and you need to program a drive, they're available on the website. And um, yeah, you might also notice there's a bunch of USB to serial adapters sitting on top of this drive. And that was a problem I ran into. I've, I've used this uh, prolific one uh, for about 10 years or so, and it died. And um, it's really not worth cracking it open and trying to fix it because it's probably just got one chip in it. It's made by um, Dynex, but it's got a prolific uh, PL, I think it's 2303 chip in it. And that one has worked for a long time, had no issues with it. And when it died, I, I picked up some of these cheap um, $1 USB to serial adapters that claim to be prolific 2303 because I knew that that one had worked for years with no problems. Turns out they have HC340 chips in them, so they are not actually prolific. And they do not work. They kind of work, but not really. And so I'm going to show that. Um, then, because that one didn't work, I went over and bought this one off of uh, this one from Best Buy because I'm trying to program this drive. And this is the Insignia brand. It is based on the prolific uh, PL2303. And then I these ones I had at work and I just borrowed them uh, I'll take them back <laughs> uh, this one turns out to also be a prolific and then this one turns out to be an FTDI so I have I have three brands here I got the uh, 2303 prolific chip the uh, HC 340 uh, clone Chinese knockoff chip and an FTDI chip um, so, and I believe the FTDI chip is a clone of the Prolific, but I'm not sure. Um, they all copied each other. <laughs> but anyways, the whole point of this is just like an introduction. We're going to, um, I'm going to do like a shootout. I'm going to plug these in. They're going to be separate videos because I have to install drivers and move things around. Because uh, if you've ever used the um, Bursa programs, uh, the Monlog, uh, NLG4, or the AMC uh, programmers, they get a little finicky if things aren't on COM1, uh, COM2. Sometimes if you're if this is on COM2 and you connect, it tries to go to COM1 first, which causes the program to crash. So um, I'm going to get all that set up so that it actually works. We have a good uh, um, common base. Everybody will be set up on COM1. And we'll just test and see which ones work best, which ones don't. And then I'm um, also going to do a video on, because um, I'm, I'm using an old Windows uh, Vista machine, 32-bit, um, but I've also got a new Windows 10 64-bit machine, and 64-bit Windows does not run the 16-bit programs that the um, Bursa the uh, programs are. The you know the Monlog, AMC, and NLG4 programs are all 16-bit DOS-based programs. So we're going to show how to get that to work on Windows 10 on a 64-bit machine, and um, what works with the different uh, USB converters. So um, yeah, hopefully uh, it's educational and uh, we'll reduce the amount of people asking me, hey, I tried to do this and it doesn't work because there are certain, not all the USB adapters are created equal. Some work, some don't, and some work with uh, different operating systems and some work with other operating systems, all based on the drivers. And I've got a theory on why it doesn't work with some of them and I'll show that in a later video if I remember. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.